Welcome to this educational video on technical analysis patterns. In this video, we will discuss some of the major technical analysis patterns such as the trend line breakout pattern, the double top and double bottom pattern, the head and shoulders pattern, the flag and pennant pattern, the rectangle and the ascending and descending triangle pattern. These patterns are widely used by traders of all experience levels to identify trending patterns in asset prices and make informed investment decisions. We will explain how to identify each pattern, as well as how to interpret the information obtained from these patterns. By the end of this video, we hope you have a better understanding of how technical analysis patterns are used to benefit your investment portfolio. Let us begin. A trend line break pattern is a form of chart pattern that forms when an asset breaks its trend line. This usually indicates a change of direction in the price of the asset. This break can be bullish or bearish. Trend line breakout patterns are often used to predict future movements in the price of an asset. When a trend line breakout pattern forms, investors typically take positions in the asset in the direction of the breakout. This means that if the price broke the uptrend line, investors would buy the asset, while if the price broke the downtrend line, investors would sell the asset. Suppose the price of an asset has been falling for a period of time, forming a descending trend line. If the price of the asset starts to rise and breaks the trend line, this could signal a change in price direction. This could be a signal to investors that the price of the asset could continue to rise. Therefore, investors could take bullish positions on the asset. An example of the use of a trend line breakout pattern in financial markets is the following. Suppose the price of an asset has been rising for a period of time, forming an uptrend line. If the price of the asset starts to fall and breaks the trend line, this could signal a change in price direction. This could be a signal to investors that the price of the asset could continue to fall. Therefore, investors could take bearish positions on the asset. The stop loss is positioned below the trend line for an uptrend, or above the trend line for a downtrend. The take profit is positioned above the trend line for an uptrend, or below the trend line for a downtrend. This means that if the price moves in the expected direction, the trader can lock in profits, while if the price moves in the opposite direction, the trader limits his losses. A double top and double bottom pattern is a technical chart pattern found on price charts in financial markets. The pattern is formed when prices move between two lines of resistance, ceiling, and support, floor, in a bounded price range. The pattern is considered a reversal signal and occurs when prices stall at one level without reaching support or resistance levels. If prices break above the resistance level, the double top pattern suggests an uptrend, while if prices break below the support level, the double bottom pattern suggests a downtrend. When trading a double top or double bottom pattern, the stop loss should be set below or above the breakout point. This means that if the price moves below the breakout point in a double top pattern, the stop loss must be placed below the breakout point. If the price moves above the breakout point in a double bottom pattern, the stop loss should be placed above the breakout point. Setting the stop loss in this way will ensure that the position is closed as soon as the price reaches the stop loss level. To identify this pattern, it is necessary to look for two price spikes that are approximately equal, with a small correction between them. The price should rise to the first peak, pull back slightly, rally to a similar second peak, and then drop below the support level. It is important to wait for the support level to break before making a trading decision, as a false breakout can occur at any time. It is also important to consider other technical and fundamental indicators before making a trading decision to confirm the direction of the market and minimize risk. The head and shoulder pattern is a graphic pattern of technical analysis used to predict a change in trend in the financial market. The pattern consists of three peaks, one head in the middle and two shoulders on the sides. The first of the shoulders is a high beak followed by an even higher capsa and, finally, a second shoulder somewhat lower than the head. Once this pattern finds out, it is interpreted as a sign that the trend is changing to the opposite direction. If the head and shoulder pattern is in an upward trend, 
it is interpreted as a sign that the trend is changing down. If the pattern is in a downward trend, it is interpreted as a sign that the trend is changing up. To identify the head and shoulder pattern effectively, you must first find the central point of the formation. This is done looking for the highest point in the graph, which marks the point of the head. Then, you must look for the two lowest peaks on the sides of the head, which mark the shoulders. Finally, you must look for a horizontal support line that connects the two shoulders. This support line marks the point where the trend change occurs. The line that connects the two shoulders is known as the neckline. This line is used as an indication of the force of the trend. If the neckline breaks up, it is a sign that the trend is changing up. If it breaks down, it is a sign that the trend is changing down. The stop loss is positioned below the neckline for a bullish trend, or above the neckline for a downward trend. This means that if the price moves in the opposite direction of the expected, the trader will close the position to limit the losses. If the price moves in the expected address, the trader can choose to adjust the stop loss to take advantage of the movement, or close the position to block the benefits. The flag and pennant pattern is a technical chart pattern that forms during a particular uptrend or downtrend. The pattern is characterized by a straight price section with a slightly upward or downward slope, followed by a shorter price section with a steeper slope in the same direction. This shorter section is known as the flag or pennant, and the entire pattern is known as the flag and pennant pattern. This pattern is a short-term trend indicator and can serve as a buy or sell entry signal. Technical analysts use the flag and pennant pattern to identify short-term trading opportunities. When the pattern forms during an uptrend, it is considered a buy signal. To determine the formation of this pattern, technical analysts must first identify a bullish or bearish trend. They should then look for a price section with a slightly upward or downward slope, followed by a shorter price section with a steeper slope in the same direction. If these two components form, then the flag and pennant pattern is considered confirmed. In order to correctly use the stop loss and take profit with the flag pattern, it is important to correctly identify the trend and the consolidation range. Once the uptrend or downtrend has been identified, a stop loss can be set just below the support line in an uptrend or just above the resistance line in a downtrend. On the other hand, the take profit can be set at the point where the price is expected to reach the target of the trend. In the case of the flag pattern, the target can be calculated by measuring the length of the mass, the straight line in the original trend, and projecting it up or down from the breakout point of the consolidation range. The rectangle pattern is a technical analysis pattern used to predict the price movement of a security. The pattern is defined as a period of consolidation in an uptrend or downtrend, where prices move between two horizontal supports and resistances. A rectangle is formed when prices maintain a relatively narrow price range for a period of time, while the highs and lows move towards the upper and lower limits respectively. This creates a price range with horizontal support and resistance that looks like a rectangle. Once a rectangle has formed, investors wait for prices to break one of the limits and move in the direction of the previous trend. This breakout is known as the rectangle breakout. When the rectangle pattern is formed, investors should use stop loss and take profit appropriately to protect their position. Investors should place a stop loss near the lower limit of the pattern to limit their losses in case the price moves in the opposite direction. On the other hand, investors should place a take profit near the previous high or low to maximize their profits should the price move in the predicted direction. The ascending and descending triangle pattern is a typical price chart pattern that forms in financial markets. These patterns are formed when prices move between support and resistance levels. An ascending triangle is formed when prices are moving up, while a descending triangle is formed when prices are moving down. An ascending triangle is formed when prices are moving up, forming an ascending trend line. In this case, the closing price is moving up, but the opening price is moving down, forming the triangle. An ascending triangle is considered a bullish pattern, since prices are increasing. A descending triangle is formed when prices are moving down, 
forming a descending trend line. In this case, the closing price is moving down, but the opening price is moving up, forming the triangle. A descending triangle is considered a bearish pattern, as prices are declining. Also, traders should set stop-loss orders to protect themselves from potential losses if the price moves in the opposite direction. This means that traders should set stop-loss orders near the support level if they are trading an ascending triangle, or near the resistance level if they are trading a descending triangle. They should also set take-profit orders to ensure that they receive their profit if the price moves in the desired direction. This means that traders should set take profit orders near the resistance level if they are trading an ascending triangle, or near the support level if they are trading a descending triangle. And that's it. We hope this video has contributed to your understanding of charting figures. Practice and become familiar with them to be successful in trading. If you liked it, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel to receive more trading content. Good luck on your journey to successful trading.